They're tearing a family apart. They have raccoons living under their roof, holes in their ceilings, or water leaking into their homes. The tenants of one company in Youngstown all say their complaints were ignored. They all rent from Youngstown House's LLC, and they spoke to WKBN because they are fed up with the issues and have seen little help so far. We spoke to many of the tenants who showed us damage in their homes. In some cases, the city's code enforcement department gave the company 30 days to fix the issues, but the company appealed, and months later, tenants say they continue living with it. 30 days passed a couple times, and they still haven't came out here. And right now to this day, and when it rains and stuff like that, it leaks. We were paying $450, and they want $400 extra a month. Um, and we have to close off one of the bedrooms because it's not livable. And I think that's, the, that's, that's not right. The city's code enforcement superintendent spoke to WKBN about the appeals process. He said landlords have the right to appeal any violations, but with the company owning as many properties as Youngstown House's LLC, that can take time. It's just the, the appeals process that, you know, drags it out. Youngstown House's LLC owns over 300 houses in Youngstown. The company purchased them from Gary Crim Incorporated last year in a $5.6 million deal. 93 of the company's properties are in the code enforcement process with violations noted. In recent months, the Board of Appeals has been denying the company's appeals for more time. If the issues are not fixed, fines are issued and court action is possible. Meanwhile, some tenants say they have been forced to move due to the issues or have been evicted for refusing to pay rent. My daughter, my daughter passed away in this house. I offered to buy this house. This house has significant meaning to me. This house has significant meaning to me. This house don't mean nothing to them, nothing. It's a piece of crap to them, but it has significant meaning to me because my family has been here for years. Another tenant said he felt it was important to speak out. I want not just me and my wife to be, to speak on it. I want other people to speak on it too. If it's happening to, like I said, if it's happening to us, it's got to be other people it's happening to. Like, like I said, people are afraid that they're going to get thrown out. I, I can understand that, but I'm going to tell them to don't be afraid. Just get up and speak up. That's all. We just, we're not doing it just for us. We're doing it for everybody who's afraid to speak. The search for the owner of Youngstown House's LLC has proved to be elusive. A volunteer group called the Youngstown Housing Task Force searched for the owner in an effort to help the tenants. The group even hired a private investigator, but had no luck. Via Gary, a member of the task force, went door to door speaking with residents about their issues. I've actually come across some individuals that have been so disheartened by what is happening to them um, and they really truly thought that they were on their own and once they uh, spoke with me or one of the other task force members, um, they just felt so much better in knowing that they weren't alone. It's been hard for us to even track down Youngstown House's LLC. We learned that all state property management handles the daily operations of their properties. It is located inside this building on Midlothian Boulevard. A tenant gave us a number to call, and the person who answered said he could not comment on any of the allegations. Right now, Vi said tenants don't have many other options. The actual tenants that are renting from Youngstown Houses LLC are a lot of elderly individuals, a lot of disabled uh, people, um, people that really can't afford, or they're also on Section 8, they can't really afford to, um, you know, move uh, somewhere else. With the rental spikes that Youngstown Houses LLC has been doing over the past year. WKBN spent months trying to track down the owner, as well as spoke with several tenants of the company. You can read more about the investigation and what we found in the story below. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.